Brothers, are you ready? Yes. Excuse me, big boy. Come on. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, ain't nothing to it. Breaking news, this plume of smoke so large, it could be seen across the city. Thanks for watching at 5. I'm Jessica Shambach. I'm Abigail Ogle. KOCO's Dylan Richards is there live tonight. And Dylan, you spoke to someone who was inside this home moments before the fire broke out. I did, Abigail. He had left about 10, 15 minutes before the flames kind of started shooting out of this house. I want to show you a very active scene here. Thankfully, uh, no massive flames anymore, but fire crews continuing to look through as this continues to be a very active scene. Look through, find those hot spots, make sure those are out as they continue to investigate how this happened and make sure the fire is completely out. Flames shooting out the side of this two-story white house. Thick black smoke clouding nearby streets visible from miles, attracting a crowd. Roberto Torres tells me he had just left that house and then saw the massive flames. Yeah, I was like my friends, you know, because my friends, you know, some of them were still here. Yeah. So I ran down here and make sure everybody was out and everybody was out. Everything I own is in there. And my husband, I just lost my husband. His ashes is in there. But I got my dog out. Came from a background of trauma, abuse, neglect. Is back in DHS custody. Imagine how he's feeling right now. Jennifer says she received documentation from DHS detailing witness accounts of children walking barefoot in the early morning for dozens of miles without coats, allegations of starvation and verbal abuse. My son won't be going back to the ranch. I called Bill Sutley, the program director for Ranch for Kids, and he says those allegations are not true. So none of your staff members have ever verbally abused any of the children at the ranch? Oh, of course not. This is a place of hope and healing. In Europe, I shot down three times and got out of it, no problems. Then I was thrown out of that airplane in Korea. Against the Red Invaders from North Korea, U.S. planes and U.S. ships are ordered into action. It was the early 1950s, Fred and his team flying above North Korea, delivering supplies to a radar station below. The landing field was about like a football field. We had to get real low and drop stuff right in that field. For Cargo pallets were about so square, and they had, I don't know how many cans of fuel oil, and they had food on them, but they had parachutes on and you just showed them out and the parachute popped open, you know. A Metro Church and Oklahoma DHS launching the initiative July 20th. First day of school. <laughs> An organization such as Life Church coming alongside the state and saying, hey, we want to work with you to meet the needs of, of Oklahomans who are in need uh, is pretty amazing. The Hansons have seven children, several they've fostered. Felt like there was a calling and she prayed for me to changed my heart and you know for two years probably and it finally happened the hands and family hoping more will be informed and moved about the fostering process or things like that you know there's so many things that people can do if they don't feel like they're called to have a kid in their home there's energy within it and we're just harnessing it 
this year, they partnered with Budweiser's parent company, Anheuser-Busch, to help power the Super Bowl. I know they don't remember me. I'm just a face who pops in your car right after you've had a wreck, asking, tell me what hurts, tell me who you are. From fender bender to fatality, this woman says she's seen it all and just feet from her home, oftentimes getting involved. Would probably dwindle down if there was some sort of a flashing light or a stoplight. And although she wasn't home yesterday when the accident happened, Crystal says she has to speak up. Police tell me just within the last two days, there have been eight reported car break-ins. They tell me it's as simple as thieves going from door to door, checking for unlocked doors, looking for anything of value in sight. Auto burglar can start down at the end of your street and just try 10 or 20 or 30 cars, car handles, you might find half of them are locked. He'll move on to the next one, and if that car is unlocked, it's easy just to uh, open that door, stick your head in there. Caught red-handed. Yeah, Abigail and Jess, at the start of the new year, the Logan County Sheriff's Office received new cameras, and that technology allows them to see those inmates anywhere. They're not you very very you to this digital upgrade is about safety. They can be playing cards, and you can almost tell if it's an ace of art. And the sheriff's office says it's well worth the cost of just over $150,000.